Hello there, welcome to another Grim Darkness Battle Report. Today we are playing another game of Drop Fleet Commander, and this time we have a wonderful Deep Cut Studio mat. Uh, we will be playing a 1500 point battle, and or a clash, I can't remember which one it's called. And we will also have the battleships. Again, it's PHR and Shaltari, and we're going to be playing Power Grab. So we're using the column approach type. We move on from the corners and, you know, there's all these sectors. Uh, special rules are um, you get double points if you have the sectors with a power plant in. So yeah, this is the board as it stands. We've got quite a lot of, um, there's quite a lot of debris fields, but hopefully that should switch up and make it interesting. And yeah, we will be using battleships, which is quite a big thing. Must say both fleets are under construction um, because we decided to add more ships in and play a bigger battle. And um, we'll be doing this battle report in two ways. So I'm gonna make two versions. One of them will be quite short and have uh, end of turn roundups. And the other one will be everything. So dice rolls dice and all that. Anyway, now we're gonna move on to the lists. Here we have the PHR fleet, the flying bananas, all the people of the Minion Republic, or banana, I like bananas, banana Republic. Okay, we have, here we have an Icarus with four Medeas. I would like to say that this fleet is still a little bit under construction. I'm, uh, <laughs> I just need to do a lot of fins. Lots and lots of fins. So we have an Icarus with four Medeas. We have a Theseus with two Pandoras. There is a Hector. We have the Heracles battleship with two Europas. On there is a, um, High Director. High Director is my Admiral. We have a Bellerophon. And we have a Ganymede with two Andromedas. And that is 1,500 points of PHR. Okay, this is the Shaltari fleet. Um, we have, over here in this group, we have a Obsidian, a Jet and two Jades. We then have a um, Emerald of Assault and three Void Gates. We then have the Big Daddy of the fleet, the Diamond Battleship, along with an Opal for protection. We then have a Amber, a Topaz, uh, sorry, Amber with two Topazes, Topazes, Topai. And then over here we have an Emerald, uh, two Amethysts, and three Void Gates. There's 1,500 points of Shaltari. There is a Star Elder on the Diamond Battleship as well. End of turn one. Not a lot has happened. Um, the PHR have all come on. Both the um, this Ganymede has gone a uh, uh, full thrust, so it has a spike, and it's gone down a layer. The Icarus is still in high orbit, as well as the side up running. Standard orders for the rest of the ships. Um, the two, uh, all the Medeas have gone down the layer, and that's everything for the PHR. For the Shaltari, once again, all the cruisers are on silent running, and all the void gates have dropped, They've gone standard run, uh, standard orders, and dropped into low orbit. Um, only two battle groups each because of the column approach. Now we're going to move on to turn two. This is the end of turn two for the PHR. Uh, no shooting has happened this turn yet. Uh, we've had a few more uh, battle groups come on, two more battle groups. The Heracles and its Europas have max thrusted onto the board and they're still in high orbit. The Bellerophon has come on, it's gone into low orbit and with a max thrust move. The Medeas, so the two over there and over here with the Icarus are on silent running and they've moved up, as has the Ganymede and its two frigate escorts. And those with the Bellerophon have put six bomber tokens onto that emerald. With the Shaltari, uh, the Void Gates are still in low orbit, everything else is in high, but uh, also this battle group here, I believe it's in low orbit. The Diamond came on. Um, they just moved on to the board. Uh, these two cruisers, the Basalt and the Emerald, are in, are in silent running. 
everything else. Uh, these three are doing silent running. And that's it. So that's the end of turn two. Everyone to turn three. Okay, turn three roundup. This Icarus took two points of damage to bombers. Um, we deployed in this sector uh, a tank each. Uh, this sector over here became a critical, critical location and we deployed um, from Ganymede. We have a uh, defense laser and some troops and the Shatari gate deployed a tank. Uh, one tank is deployed in this cluster. All the ships have moved on. Um, this is the full battle group now. Uh, not much shooting happened from the Shatari back here. The Heracles opened up with Dark Matter Cannon and evaporated a mothership that was here. Uh, the two uh, frigates were killed by the Bellerophon, one with its twin supernova lasers and the other with its bombers. And over here, we put uh, Tank down. And that's it, that's turn three. A lot of movement, a lot of positioning, um, and a bit of death. Like one battle group has basically been annihilated by some void gates. The Bellerophon, an awesome ship, and the Heracles, obviously, very good as well. So we'll see what happens at the end of turn four. Turn four, recap then, everybody. Uh, the Basalt here only has one point of health left. Uh, the membership is fine. We've counted up the points. Um, so it is currently nine points to the Shaltari and 15 to the PHR. The Theseus over there is currently only on... Uh, two points of health. There was a an Amber cruiser here, which has been destroyed. Uh, we've taken a few points of hull off the diamond and a few have been also taken off the Heracles. The Heracles is suffering from orbital decay. Um, so if I don't pass that roll next turn, it will die, burn up an atmosphere. And that's basically it. Uh, a few more shots have been traded. No one else has taken a load of damage. Um, there's been a few points of uh, damage taken off the uh, Hector and same with the Icarus um, and that's basically it uh, as I said uh, we did we still haven't done the ground combat but we will do next turn <laughs> okay moving on to the first activation of turn five end of turn five and things have got pretty bloody uh, the amber moved in and blew up in front of the uh, he uh, across his face, just decided to run in and ram him and explode. The diamond was shot by absolutely everything and died, killing a frigate with it and also killing the Theseus. Um, generally, there was a bit of ground combat. The PHR control this sector and this sector. There's a little bit of fighting going on here and a little bit of fighting going on here. Um, and then the sensor all the way over here is controlled by the Shaltari. Um, so many things have so many different spikes and on so many different layers that I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but now we are going into turn six, the last turn of the game, and uh, we will see what happens. Okay, everybody, this is the end of turn six, or this is where we called it at least. Uh, the Shaltari have one cruiser left and one frigate left, ignoring void gates. Um, this turn was uh, was pretty brutal. Uh, the Topaz went first and they shot into the Heracles and took it down, so it was only on five health left. Then the Heracles and the two Europas with it, they went, they went weapons free. Well, the Heracles did anyway. There was a cruiser there, which got blown up. There was, sorry, frigate. There was a frigate here, which was destroyed. It got, it got hit by the Dark Matter Cannon. A bit overkill, but that's what happens. And then the broadside from the heavy kind of broadside tore into the jet, which was here, took off a lot of hull points. And then the Europas actually did really, really well, finishing off the jet, finishing off the frigate that was here with their close action, and then finishing off the Emerald. Just taking those last few hull points down on a couple of ships. So we decided to call it there. The points are still the same as they were on turn four because we haven't got to the point in turn six where we would score. So it is nine for the Shaltari and it is uh, 15 or 14 for the PHR. And uh, yeah, overall a really good game. Uh, thank you very much for watching. There is a longer version of this battle report which includes all the dice rolls and you know when we change all the layers and everything like that. But we know people don't 
always have time to watch everything, so we decided to do it in two. Uh, I will put the link for that one in the description. Um, thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you again.